Today we're going to be talking about a privacy first browser extension available for Google Chrome, Opera, and Firefox. But first, my name is Steve Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and the actual add-on to your browser, the browser extension that we'll be talking about, was created by the Electronic Frontier Foundation. It's based on the Adblock Plus code base, and of course, has one of the more annoying names of being called Privacy Badger. As a Far Cry player, I think you should have named it something else. Those are one of the most annoying animals in the Far Cry universe and even in the real world. But besides that, why is this important? Privacy is currently trending. The GDPR is a thing. And third party tracking is kind of like this thing that happens on the internet that you basically have no control of unless you start using very special browsers or browser extensions. But before I get anywhere further, how about I just show you this software? So we're gonna switch over. This is a template website. Basically, um, it's a prototype. It's mine. Nobody's gonna sue me for using it because I can't sue myself. Don't worry about that. Bra <clears throat> Privacy Badger, basically simple to use. Click on the Badger. And it will give you this specific page right above my head right now. You have three options. You got the allow. You basically have block cookies, which disables most trackers. They will block things such as canvas space fingerprinting, but other kinds of browser fingerprinting might not be actually blocked. And of course they can block the entire domain, which would essentially block everything, including fingerprinting as a whole. You are also given the same option as in Adblock Plus to be disabled on that specific website. What's good about this is it's once it's installed, which is a two click install, if anybody had any questions about anything, you would just tell them to move the slider around. The other thing is, is this software learns as you go. So if you're visiting multiple websites and Privacy Badger detects the same tracker following you on the three websites, it will simply disable the tracker. And that is it. It's also perfectly capable of learning what would be on the page and what has to be functional. So in the case of plugins, it will simply disable the tracking without disabling the plugin itself. And of course, it's very simple to use. So the thing on the side here, which is from add this, if you wanted to make it disappear on every single website, you would just go and follow the add this domains hit reset, and it disappears. And that is essentially it. A very simple download that you can use to maintain your privacy on the internet and basically blind every third party tracker on the internet as a whole. It's not completely perfect as a piece of software, but it's a lot better than most. And it's also very similar to those like Disconnect, Adblock Plus, Ghostry, and many others. While maintaining compatibility, with all of those extensions, with the exception of Avast, which apparently even prevents it from being installed at all. So, if you were looking for something on the internet to maintain your privacy, this is the browser extension you should install, provided that you are using Google Chrome, Opera, or Firefox. You can get it at the eff.org slash privacy badger address. And you can also go to tqaweekly.com slash se8 ep41 if you want the actual link or it will be in the description of this video on youtube so like this episode if you liked it dislike it if you didn't share with those that you think can benefit from this and don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions comments suggestions for topics email me at ask at tqaweekly.com go to my website tqaweekly.com for everything else and if you want to make this show better go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly and become a patron today patrons get these episodes two days in advance of everyone else thank you for watching and goodbye